Cheers. Cheers. The girls are gonna be jealous. The girls love to cheers. What's up? Welcome back to another weekend in our life. Sorry about my voice. I am not sick. Maybe I'm in denial, but I'm not sick. I just didn't like I have a little scratch in my throat, a little tickle, if you will, and it's affecting my vocal cords. That's what I'm telling myself, that it's just gonna go away. It's just gonna go away. I have been taking elderberry supplements for like six months. I haven't been sick at all. Pill bottle ran out like two weeks ago, and here I am. So I need to get back on the berries. It kind of look like- You like look a like a mama too that barely made it out of the door in a rainstorm. Yeah. <laughs> Good. No, I didn't like I like half air dry to half. It's growing out right now and I'm doing a big chop Right before my birthday. So I'm just like letting it be at this ugly phase and that ugly. That's the one thing with short hair is like it's not long before it grows to an in-betweeny length and That's where we're at right now in between -y. anyways guys another rainy day in New England How many times am I gonna say that on this channel because it was too warm. It didn't turn into snow, right? We got a big snowstorm last weekend. We're getting more snow this week They're saying Tuesday or something. I found my new full-time driveway sander. She did an amazing job Yeah, I did no that was brutal. We live on a hill. It's like a steep hill. We're on like a private way I just had to haul my butt up the hill for like 30 minutes sanding it and I was sweating because you can only carry so much and then I, I didn't I forgot my gloves and I just like yeah. needed to get it done before the girls came home because I wanted them to safely get up the hill whatever that's a story mm -hmm. for another day we're up and out it's 9 a.m. good old 9 we're always up and out at 9 yep and we're heading to the Boston Children's Museum and we're gonna have a morning with the gals I feel like thank God I made reservations because it's a rainy Saturday and there's gonna be so many kids. We're also going to get lunch at Flower. If you're from Boston, I think it's a Boston specific like bakery, um, coffee house type of thing. And it's right near the museum. So we figure we're out and about. It's kind of nice to just like feed them while we're out because then we just come home and can put them down for a nap. There's not like a mess to be made making lunch at home. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'm hoping they have high chairs. If not, we have the wagon now, so. Yeah, that's another good reason to have it. But thanks for being here. Welcome back. Hello. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm gonna unplug this. <laughs> Mama's getting scared. Likes banana bread. Big banana bread fan. <laughs> okay, just got home from the museum and we immediately put the girls down for their nap. They were falling asleep in the car. It is such a struggle to get them to stay awake. They are not capable of the transfer method. Like if they fall asleep in the car, even if it's for three minutes and they're a little baby brain. They think they've slept so when we try to transfer them to their crib, they're awake like for the rest of the day So we were blasting Coco Melon in the car We were singing all the wheels on the bus all the itsy bitsy spider pulling out every trick and they did stay awake I think Sienna's eyes like fully shut as we were pulling in the driveway. They were a little cranky But they went right to bed. So we did it. We made it. We're home. We need to eat lunch eventually I have leftovers. We did order takeout last night and we order from this one place They always give you so much food. So I always know I have lunch the next day it's wonderful Jonathan just went to work he had to go to the office for a few hours and so I'm going to get some content done during this nap I think I have a few ideas for TikTok and reels on Instagram I'm trying to get better at being more creative on that platform I started to really get into TikTok 
to try and advertise like my thrift bundle business and show more like mini vlogs on there but I'm kind of feeling inspired to maybe shift my mindset to focus a little more on Instagram reels because I like that platform a lot like I love Instagram I love YouTube I don't love TikTok but I know baby hairs that don't make the ponytail <laughs> But I know TikTok is a great place for creators and stuff. So I'm trying to like navigate all of that right now. But I want to just like take this time and be super productive. I think I'm struggling a little bit right now. As you saw in my last video with no longer working a corporate job after being laid off. And I'm trying to like forge my own path and take this alternate route that gives me a little bit more flexibility and freedom. But with that comes, you know, blurred lines between when you can give yourself a break and when you should be working and creating and I find that all day long I'm like working whether it's on my thrift bundles or trying to create content and then once I'm with the girls I'm focusing on them and then once they go to bed I find that I'm I've been up really late trying to just like you know my wheels are spinning I have all these ideas and now that I don't work a nine-to-five and my weekends are like my break when my break is and at nighttime how do I unwind without feeling like I should be using this time and so I'm struggling with that a little bit, but also perspective change. Maybe it's not a struggle. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now while I'm trying to make this big lifestyle change. And, and so whatever, I don't know if anyone else is feeling similar to me, let me know. But yeah, I have a lot that I got to do right now. Before I go upstairs, I think I'm going to start packaging up some thrift bundles first. I should show you my bedroom right now. It is so chaotic. Thank God my husband doesn't mind a little chaos. And thank God our bedroom is so big and long. It's a really weird shaped room as you've seen previously. Or maybe it doesn't translate as weird as it is on video, but it's like a very long room. And so now one full side is dedicated to my thrift venture. This is not a sponsored portion of the video. But I had a fellow mother reach out to me and I've said this many times. I want to be a platform that shares small businesses. So if you ever want to share like your small business goods or services with me, again, would have to really align with my own personal brand, my values and all of that. But I would love to talk about it on my channel because I'm technically a small business and you guys are all supporting me. I just want this to be a cool space for sharing. And there are a lot of big businesses out there that we are constantly being exposed to and forced to buy from. But there's so many small pockets in our world that are small businesses and we should support them. And so a fellow mother subscriber reached out. Her brand is called Gracie's Closet Finds and she offers new and pre-loved infant and toddler clothing. So this is the package. So cute, handwritten note. Oh, and she is offering a discount. So for my followers and subscribers, you can get 20% off using code Courtney20. Um, and you can follow, I will have it up on the screen at Gracie's Closet Finds on Instagram and I'll link her website down below you guys this little sticker I don't know if you can read it but it says good things are coming this cutesy little claw clip and then I'm literally wearing this all the time this is so cute I'm obsessed to match my babes and then this cute little pajama set she gave me two of them for the girls I love this print I think it's so fun I honestly would put them in like a, they have some oversized like band t-shirts with these as leggings and not just pajamas <gasps> So cute. Thank you so much, you guys. Follow her down below. This is so adorable. Thank you, Sarah, for thinking to send this all to me. I'm so grateful to talk about your small business. Keep doing the damn thing. It's inspiring. Okay, I'm procrastinating. Going to get things done. Also, something else. Wait, I should go get it. So, in the spirit of oversharing, which is the core of my YouTube channel, I decided something. I have been like so stinky you guys since having my little 20s like i my hormones are just like insane and i feel like i have always been someone that like sweats a lot not a lot but just like you know i perspire and obviously when i'm running around with children all the time and especially during certain periods of my cycle i just am always feeling like i'm sweating under my armpit i'm always feeling like i smell and deodorant like doesn't work and i have to reapply constantly and so i made the decision kind of on a whim that i was done wearing deodorant like just done obviously i mean maybe not obvious if you are 
are not aware, like deodorant is not good for your body for so many reasons. And I've always known that and I've kind of just been like, screw it, it's so convenient. So I started taking nude. I'm on day three of no deodorant. And they say it can take up to 30 days for your body to like adjust. And I definitely feel like I'm a little stinky right now, but it's not bad. I keep having Jonathan like smell test. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a good judge though because TMI he's like I don't mind a little stain <laughs> but anyways I am on day three and essentially to start you just cut out your deodorant so I literally tucked all my deodorant away you like don't use it at all anymore and you go through like a withdrawal period so I'm in that right now I think some people like I had a little bit of pain the first day like that's how much your body is addicted to the chemicals in deodorant day one of no deodorant you know six hours in my body i was getting like a little bit of aches and kind of like stinging feeling from using the nude instead of deodorant and your armpits are just kind of adjusting and then you don't use anything day two and then day three like today i just reapplied nude and the goal like for some people they only have to apply this once a week it's essentially like an anti-odorant like it's not it's supposed to help your body naturally not produce like an odor under your armpits people swear by it i've heard such good things but it can take up to 30 days for your body to like like fully acclimate so i'm just going with the flow kind of a slow time of year right now we don't have any big like events or anything where i should probably not show up stankin so i figure these next 30 days will be good i'll let you guys know but yeah i think this is cool it's the tiniest little tube because you just need a little pea size amount on each armpit every two days to start if i start noticing that i'm not stinky after like three days i'll wait and my goal i would love to only apply this once a week but even if it's like two to three times a week i'm fine with that this is not harsh on your body and i would love to just like not need to put deodorant on all day long i'm trying this out and i figured i would share because i've heard really good things okay i really am gonna go be productive but i did want to show you one more thing hi dobby that's not what i'm showing you but did you guys know that i painted that i'm pretty proud of myself i'm literally blocking this because i'm so embarrassed but i'm trying to you know let you know the deal basically this is our laundry room and this just stressed me out so okay whatever you can see it it is what it is i went to target and i bought a like shower curtain rod and I just put it up here. I'll give Jonathan credit. He did like come up with this idea and I was like, oh, I don't know if that will look bad, but I love how this looks and it's so much cheaper than getting like a closet system installed, which we considered doing, but I'm trying to show you, but it's kind of hard, but it goes like to the floor and I steamed it to get the wrinkles out and I think it looks so good in here and it's just a really good budget friendly option if you have like a chaotic space in your home and you want to conceal it like I hated that all my guests could see like this was just our drop spot of our toiletries and whatever so this was just my little home project of the week and I wanted to share it okay you guys it is a little while later and I am going to sit and get cozy and read before the girls get up from their nap but I wanted to show you the vibes in here we just got these little lights to zhuzh up our room a little bit honestly I love mood lighting and I am obsessed with these they do blink too i don't love that when i come in and just like read i have been loving this vibe i'm reading fourth wing right now in my little book club with my best friends so I'll keep you guys updated also i bought these little bookmarks for my mother-in-law my mom and my two sister-in-laws for christmas they're like hand stitched so cute i can link these two they're on etsy this is the vibes also don't mind my little turtle it's no longer a turtle from the museum <laughs> oh Say hi, sissy. Kisses to Dobby. Good job. Lovey. Lovey's right here. Let's give you Lovey. Here. Are you spinning? <laughs> Dada. Dada is going to be coming home. They fly in the sky. Can you brush mommy's hair? You have avocado on your forehead from breakfast. How did we not notice that? <laughs> oh, hi, baby. How do you do? Hut! Hut! Good job. Wee wee. Wee wee. Wee wee. Zoe, do you want to sit, Sienna? No. Okay. <laughs> Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? No. I may seem tiny and twinkly, but look a little closer. I'm actually here. So you are sitting. Are you sitting on your bum? Yeah. Slide. <laughs> Hi. Hello, star. Wee. Wee. Rennie, where's the star? 
Yep. <laughs> Papa. Oh, Pika. Where's Ren? Where is she? Oh, Arguably one of the best Beatles records. Can't tell me any different. Sergeant Pepper. I think we listen to this side. What do we think, girls? Sometimes. Birthday greetings, bottle of wine. Where's your apple? I think you actually Oh no, where's your apple? They're at the stage where they like to hide everything <coughs> behind their back and say, uh oh, where'd it go? Oh, you found it, I'm so glad. Dad's not feeling so hot. Dad has an elephant sitting on his head. Yeah, and we know how men are when they get a little sick. Rude. We are about to run some errands just to get out of the house. <laughs> Dad, fun! Jonathan is going to a Celtics game tonight with his two brothers. Fine. They like got this for each other's Christmas gifts, a little boys night out. So I'll be... Was that her apple? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got your apple, ma'am. Mama's gonna get it. She's getting... Come on, I know what Hey, if you throw it, then you're all done. Yeah, apple. Jonathan's gonna be gone tonight, so I'll be a lone soldier for dinner and bedtime. And to like, you know, even out the playing field here. I was like, okay, perfect. Before you go, we'll run some girly errands. <laughs> Target, obviously. And then I also want to make a personalized charm necklace that I think will be so fun. I want to go to Michael's and Joann's. I've been seeing a lot of people make these and I know you can buy like personalized necklaces on like Etsy and things like that. But I think it would be really fun to make it myself. I want to make two. One like for me, some eclectic, fun, funky pieces that I'm drawn to. And then I want to make one like for the girls. So I'm hoping I find some meaningful fun charms. So we're gonna go to Target and Michael's. Three o'clock right now. Oh, we'll be ah! Yes, we are. I can go by myself with them, by the way, if you would like to stay home and get some sleep. He needs to get some sleep. Would you really? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Definitely. All right, we'll see. Hot. Yes, the carrots are hot. Thank you. Okay, what's up? It's way later on. What a chaotic afternoon. We went to Michael's and Target and the girls were just melting and it, yeah, it was kind of crazy. And I just like to bring that up because obviously I didn't vlog much until we were back and the girls were like in an okay mood, but like they full blown had major meltdowns this afternoon and they're having a little bit more frequent meltdowns and I'll never take my phone out and like show that. I, I think I sometimes will show like the beginning of a meltdown if I happen to be like filming and then it's, that's very personal and I only even show a glimpse of a meltdown to remind you that it's not all glitz and glamour around here at all and my lord, I was very tired by the time they went to bed. Jonathan, as I mentioned, went out for the night with his brothers and I'm so happy he did, but with feeling a little under the weather, it just, it's hard and putting them to bed, I don't think I've talked about this too much, but over the last few weeks, they're just in big mommy phases right now. Um, and when I'm by myself, I cannot, like they both just want me. And it's like an hour before bed where they both just want to snuggle me and hug and they don't want their sister snuggling me. They want to and can't give that to both of them. And it's just, it's really hard. And honestly, even when Jonathan's here, more so Ren is just, she wants to be snuggled and hugged by me. And it's just, it takes an emotional toll. So if you're a parent that experiences that, I'm with you because it's really hard, but I'm trying to unwind right now. I do actually have a FaceTime date with Lily. We are going to hang out, catch up, and book our flights to San Diego to see our best friend Leanne. I'm so excited. So I figure in the meantime, I'm going to put together the charm necklaces and bracelet that I mentioned earlier, and I'm so excited about it. I picked up the cutest charms and I'm actually creating a TikTok. I have my tripod and like ring light set up over here to show the process and the end result. So follow me on TikTok if you want to see this in a little more detail. But I just figured I'd say what's up and this is my plan for the night. Honestly I love crafting. Like I'm not art artistic. I don't like to paint or I mean who knows maybe I do like to paint. Like I'm not good at like arts and crafts but I still love the art and unwinding with. Like I would love to go to like a ceramics class or something. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Hopefully they're cute. I ended up picking a gold chain to make into a necklace. I got like jump rings and a clasp to, to make that work. 
and then a um, silver chain for a bracelet that's going to have charms that remind me of the girls on it. Okay, I just planned out the necklace. I figure putting it together first would be a good idea, and I am just so excited about it. I think I like this little life. Oh, shiz. Well, I did get the right pliers. I was secretly worried about that. I didn't want to share that with you guys, but I was nervous that I didn't get the right pliers. Just any small nose plier. I removed the clasp from the charm that it comes with, and now I'm gonna add the jump ring. I hope I get this center charm right. I just successfully add one charm to this necklace. I'll be happy. Oh my gosh, then it's another added layer to make sure all the charms are facing the same way. Didn't think about that, but oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, I am getting good at this. I am about to make this my whole new personality. I don't think I have an addictive personality, but man, I get excited about things. One, two, three, four. Hi. And look at how cute though. Oh my God, it's so cute. I know, I should make you one. Okay, it is 10.30 p.m. I have not eaten dinner yet. I did not realize it was this late, but I stayed on FaceTime with Lily for so long. We booked our trip, I'm so excited. And then I came down and I finished my charm necklace and my charm bracelet, that's why I'm hiding it for the grand reveal right now. Oh my God, I think it is so cool. And I had so much fun putting it together. It made me feel like a little kid again. I just loved the whole experience. You guys need to do this. This styled with like a cute outfit. I'm in love. And then of course the bracelet. I don't even know how I'll style and wear this, but rest assured, I will be wearing both of these pieces. I'm in love. This was so fun. It made me so happy to do. I like want to make more for my friends. But anyways, I am putting a Trader Joe's frozen pizza in the oven right now. The Celtics won. Jonathan is on his way home now. They're stopping at the Kowloon, if you know, you know. So he won't be home for a little bit and I need to eat something. So I'm going to eat and try to get to bed before midnight. My gosh, now I'm like overstimulated. I probably won't. I am so happy. This made me really happy. Cheers. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, sissy. <laughs> Good job. Nothing like a wolf. No, don't take it. <laughs> knock, knock. You don't have to knock on the inside. Can you drop it and shake? Now go over the rainbow. <laughs> okay. Water. Water. Water? Um. What's up? It is Sunday and the sun is shining. It is beautiful out today. Got myself ready for the day. Side note, these aloe socks are so comfortable. I love a cozy sock in the winter, I really do. So I wanted to sit down and chat because as you know, I'm always trying to help out my fellow mothers, especially those that are in the stages of pregnancy and the newborn phase, those early months of parenthood are so hard and they pose so many challenges and I feel like there's a lot of products out there that it just feels overwhelming depending on you know what stage of life you're in what stage of motherhood you're in you're always being marketed so many different options to help you get through that season of life and I always find it helpful to hear directly from another mother to trust her experience on certain products Ducks, good services or whatever so that all being said if you are a mother who is currently breastfeeding or planning to breastfeed I want to talk to you about the brand mom cozy I used mom cozy specifically for their nursing and pumping bras while I was in that stage of life and I love the brand I really had a good experience with the bras I have nothing but great things to say and they did send over to me their n5 breast pump for me to take a look at I'm obviously not breastfeeding right now but I know what a good pump looks like from my experience and although I did not use this portable breast pump I think if I was to do it again I would have used this pump because the option to be able to like roam my house still do other things other than being strapped to a, a pump that was attached to a cord in the wall I think you know based on the reviews for this pump 
pump, I absolutely could have used it or at least given it a try. So I'm excited to talk to you about this as an option for you if you are a breastfeeding mother. And I just love the clean aesthetic of Mom Cozy. So this is a portable wearable pump, as I mentioned. It comes in this cute little storage bag. I think it's really crisp looking and it's a nice moment to open. I'm gonna show you this whole pump. Yeah, like even looking at this, I just really wished that I used something like this while I was breastfeeding. And it comes with four different size phalanges. So depending on your nipple size and what you need to work for you, you have all of these options, which is great. A lot of pumps, like my even hospital grade pump, didn't come with more than one option for a flange size. So I had to order more on like Amazon. So this is a definite perk. And it has a painless horizontal angle to allow the pump to really, you know, be an experience like an actual baby being to your breast. And there are three modes. There's stimulate, express, and mix that's super important you want to have options to see what works best for you and again if you're someone that's planning to breastfeed and you're a little bit unfamiliar there's things you want to consider and you want to have a pump that at the beginning will kind of start the stimulation process to allow you to ease into expressing your milk that was something that always worked for me especially when you're first starting out it's a new experience it can be a little uncomfortable you don't want it to like <laughs> go to the express mode right away you kind of want to ease into it with that stimulate feature so it's great that this offers that and the horizontal angle is an awesome feature because it does allow you to have a better um, letdown experience this pump can hold over 120 milliliters of breast milk and its usage time is about 100 to 120 minutes and another new twist is made by their vibrate to pump mode which can loosen the ducts at the same time when pumping and in reviewing the mom cozy website i felt like they offered a lot of great tips and I love when brands do that because it shows that they really care about their customer they don't just want to sell you a product and so they offer some great resources they really hone in on the fact that your breast size may change you know before pumping and after pumping so when you're measuring yourself to understand your flange size they remind you that it's important to measure your nipple right as you start pumping because it may be a little bit larger smaller whatever your body does once you start that process and it's important to measure that size as to, as opposed to before you start pumping and they have a link right on their website that brings you to a guide on how to measure your flange size, which I just think is really cool. So overall, would strongly recommend these breast pumps based on my research and my experience with the brand and on the reviews that I've seen. I think this is such a great option if you are exploring breast pumps and specifically portable breast pumps. Because let's face it, we're busy as moms. Like we need to be able to, gosh, not be um, strapped down to a pump at all times of the day. And I really, if I could have told myself any Thing, it would have been to try something like this out. So to show you one other product from Mom Cozy, this was something that I did use while I was in my postpartum breastfeeding days. And it is their seamless postpartum support bra. I also use their pumping bras, their nursing bras, so many. But this one is so cute, I wanted to show you. It has this really nice design underneath. And obviously this one is new, but all the bras that I have from over a year ago now are still in such great condition i will use them again but here it is i'm going to show it to you on so you can see the fit super flattering support the w structure design provides good support for your breasts mom cozy utilizes a unique bonding technology to create a smooth and incredibly soft fabric that not only feels weightless on your skin but is designed to wick away sweat so that you can always feel your best it is honestly so buttery soft and that is so important. I mean, your breast can become so sensitive while you're breastfeeding and pumping that you want something soft, but you also want something that can be worn underneath clothing. All of their bras looked great under t-shirts, dresses, just items in my closet that when I was wearing my other bulkier bras, I felt like I couldn't wear. You know, I always was just throwing on something super concealing because I felt like I needed to, you know, not show off my big old nursing bra, but these are easily concealed. They're comfortable. And the materials are really good too so it's 51% nylon and 49% spandex and there's no underwires so you can say bye to back pain so honestly I'm gonna wear this bra today like I am not breastfeeding but it's still a comfortable bra that you'll get wear out of after you're done nursing so that's always nice I'm just I'm really happy um, to be working with mom cozy because I really love their products so you can use the code down below for you to get 15% off their store which is a great deal check it out they have a lot of other options on their websites beyond just what I've shown you and I'm just really grateful that brands like this exist to offer such great products for us mothers. We love to see it. So thanks again Mom Cozy and let's get back into this vlog. The calm after the storm. Seriously. Wow it looks like 
low tide right now. Yeah. It was up and over the wall yesterday. The giggliest girls. <laughs> also, hi Boston. The lighting, it's just the way the sun hits the east coast in the morning. In the morning. Tell them, little lady. This is where we polar plunged on New Year's Day. Yeah. We're up and out this morning to do some scenic driving. It's one of our favorite Sunday morning activities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another reason why I'm so grateful for where we live. Like we can get our city fixed when we want, our ocean fix, mountain fix, lake fix. Like it's just, New England is the best it all. place in the whole world. Yeah. What area had these coastal storms? It's not just North Shore because it went up to like Maine. So the whole East Coast pretty much just got hit. And the North, Northeast are pushing down on them. Yeah. I don't know what this one is. Yeah, last weekend was a nor'easter. This weekend it was just like crazy coastal storms. It was all rain luckily because it was warm. Anyways, we wanted to drive around just like all the coastal towns like Marblehead. We're in the hunt right now just to see the situation. And it's crazy to see how high the water got and the damage, it's so sad. Yeah, thinking of you, if you were impacted by this and you live in like a coastal town, I hope you're okay. Yeah, hope you're okay. Okay, but it's a beautiful day today. It is like bluebird skies, a few cotton candy clouds, and we just wanted to get out for our coffee drive. Mm -hmm. We're gonna stop somewhere and let the girls run around, but it's just good to get out, get some fresh air. Yeah. Ugh. Take a little ride. Take a little ride. Oh, right now, this is our view. Good old 40 steps. I don't know how much you can see. Fun fact, you guys, we used to walk all the way out here and jump off of that. And not only were we walking out there, we were walking from downtown. Yeah, we you can't park up here, so we would walk around. like over a mile, like two miles to get here, and we'd so jump we out there. Walk. Let me tell you something right now. If my kids are watching this down the line, you're not doing that. You're grounded. You're grounded. <laughs> Jonathan and I, when we were like fights. 15, got in one of our biggest fights because he, there's like a whole other, it's like a quarry, right? No, because it's the ocean, but... Oh, he decided to jump off of that. And... <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt. I'm in the tunnel. Okay, we are back from our little adventure and I'm prepping lunch right now while the girls play downstairs with Jonathan. And I have been wanting to give them pickles because they love all things sour. Lemons, we gave them lemons to like, kind of like prank them, you know? <laughs> You like give your kids lemons and this also have like a crazy reaction and pucker up they love them and now they will like snack on a lemon it's insane and pineapple yesterday we gave them pineapple for the first time after the museum they loved it and so i know pickles are a little different than that but i feel like they're gonna really like them so i have like some cloths and pickle i'm like patting them down so maybe it's not like super intense or messy oh dobby wants to come in come here I'm gonna let them snack on these while I get the rest of lunch ready. Pickle? Pickle? Pickle. 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 It is later on. Just got the girls down for their nap. I'm having my afternoon cup of caffeine in the form of Olipop Cherry Cola. It is my new obsession. I love it so much. And welcome to the chaos. This is my current thrift bundle situation right now. This is organized. It's my organized chaos. <laughs> I am trying to finalize a few pieces. I am also going to package some up and get them in the mail tomorrow. So wanted to just show you this. Also, the doors on my closet were like super wonky. So I just decided to take them off. And I know it looks crazy, but I love being able to just see into my whole closet. I'm just pretending it's a big old walk-in closet. <laughs> That's just the situation back there. So there's literally no doors. That's a home project for another time. But for now, I like that I can just see everything in there. And I have a lot of items in my own closet that I have sourced and thrifted and include in bundles when I feel like they match someone's vibe and what they're looking for. So I like being able to just see into my closet and pieces that I have that are just high quality and I feel compelled to add to someone's bundle, I will. Also, I know everyone talks about girl dinners, but I'm a big girl lunch 
type of gal myself. So we're going to my mother's house for roast beef dinner when the girls get up from their nap. And dinner's at like five o'clock so that the girls can eat with us. But I didn't want to eat like too, too much today. I did have waffles this morning, as you saw. But I <laughs> cut up some celery and I'm gonna dip it in the Trader Joe's caramelized onion dip because it's the best. So this along with the Good and Gather white cheddar baked corn puffs. It's a balanced lunch. This is my afternoon. I need to do some editing too. Jonathan's downstairs taking a nap. I'm actually jealous. No nap for me. So that's what I'm gonna do for now and then we'll get the girls up and head over to my mom's. Nanny's at the kids table. Yeah. We have our snacks. I can't do it. I do. I do. I do. Oh, thank you. We gave them waffles this morning. Yeah. I hope you see Kitty. Right Who is the Kitty? My doctor shoots. Do you want to sit up here? When's the first, like, big, big change in the Okay. <laughs> Can you dance? <laughs> Yay! Totally. <laughs> My dad. Yeah, My dad. Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> uh, you don't do roast beef? Girl, eating fistfuls of mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> she did it. She did it. <laughs> <laughs>